All right, everybody, this is a troubleshooting video for the Matthewson Metals burner. Occasionally, we have customers that have issues, uh, and so we just want to kind of go over that in a video format and, and give you guys some help. And if this doesn't answer your question or you need more assistance, please call me at the phone number provided on your information sheet that came with the burner. So let's just talk about getting started here. We want to make sure that we're starting out with a full propane tank, not one off your barbecue that's half full. Start with a full propane tank to make sure you have enough pressure in your tank. The other thing is, if you did not buy a regulator from us, you cannot use a barbecue regulator. It does not allow enough pressure through the hose to light the flame. You're going to have issues. So you need at least a, uh, you need an adjustable regulator at least a 0 to 20 PSI adjustable regulator in order to operate this burner correctly. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is simulate um, the problems that some people have. But first, I'm going to go through the proper lighting procedure for your burner. Uh, if we uh, start turning the regulator until we hear a hiss, which you should be able to hear there, then we're going to turn the regulator one more full turn until you hear a louder hiss. You should hear it getting progressively louder. If you don't hear it getting progressively louder, you don't have enough pressure in your tank. We're then going to light at the end of the burner, not at the air holes. We always ignite at the end of the burner. If this is in a forge, you want to light it at the end. Don't try to light at the air holes. Because let me show you what's going to happen. If you try, now you see that? See those flames at the air hole? That's what I'm going to try to simulate when I restart this, because this is what the problem some people have. They either have not enough pressure in their tank, or they light it at too low of a pressure, because they're a little, little uh, leery about it starting out. So I'm going to try going at a really low pressure. I just barely hear the gas. Well. It lit there, but if I didn't have enough pressure in my tank, what it would have done is it would have backtracked to there and it would do that. Now even though now I'm going to turn up the pressure, it's not going to go to the end of the burner. You're going to have these flames at the air holes. You don't want that. That's not correct. So again, we need to light with enough pressure and at the end of the burner and it operates correctly. Um, some other causes uh, where that can happen is if you install this in a forge and you're really blazing away and this um, is in a receiver tube and it's in too small of a forge, some of the flames can backtrack, you know, even an invisible flame and ignite at the air holes. If that's the case, you need to stuff some insulation or non-flammable uh, product to block off that area so you, you don't have that problem. Otherwise, uh, these function great. They operate pretty much bulletproof, pretty much brainless. You just light them at the end of the burner and they work. Um, if this has not answered your questions, again, please give me a call on the information sheet and I'll be happy to go over it with you on the phone. Thanks so much.